so we're here at Bora's shop up in uh, Aurora. And I came up here just to do an oil change and um, talk about a couple of things for the Civic and the truck and shit like that. Uh, he's got a couple motors laying around and we were talking the other day about weights because uh, he's getting ready to do put his car together and we were talking about difference between iron block and aluminum block and you know how much it actually weighs with fluids and everything like that and so you go online all the time and you look up the weight of a car or uh, of a an LS engine and you know it always says a certain amount I don't know what all that includes you know is that with fluids is that with an alternator is that you know no manifolds is you know power steering pump like what all does it include um, so we figured we'd say screw it. We just we went out to Walmart and bought a couple of scales, and uh, we're gonna put a pallet between the two, and set a couple of different versions of an LS motor on there. These are all aluminum block stuff. We don't have any iron block shit. Um, so one is a complete motor, like as you would get it from you know like a junkyard or something. If you're if you're doing a you know junkyard LS build. So it's gonna have, you know, wiring harness, heads, uh, you know, cam, rotating assembly, oil pan, uh, exhaust manifolds, uh, intake manifold, pretty much everything. Uh, and then we have one that's just uh, bottom end and heads, and then we have another one that is just uh, the block with rotating assembly. So we'll see what they all actually weigh, that way, you know, we'll have a, a real number instead of just some number that's always on Wikipedia or some shit, which who knows how accurate it is. So here's our little assembly. Ding, ding, ding. Very scientific. We weighed the pallet and uh, we're just gonna subtract that weight from whatever we get in there. So yeah, I guess we'll do the first one. Which one do you wanna do first? The short, okay. okay. So we're gonna do the one that is just block and rotating assembly first. Let's see what it weighs. All right, we're not actually sure what motor this is. I think it's a something like an LC9. I'm not. I'm not actually sure. But um, to give you an idea, I guess it's pistons, rods, crank. Um, you know, the valley cover's still on it. Uh, just doesn't have heads or oil pans and shit like that. So minus, yeah. It's crazy that it's like so right at 20. Sorry, Walmart scales. Put you to work. <laughs> That's one kid that asked me later. <laughs> it's scientifically sound. We checked it. Yeah, it worked. Because we actually did. I did kind of doubt myself <laughs> for a second there. I was like, wait, this is how this works, right? <laughs> 280? Yep, minus 20. 280. How much did you say this is gonna be? <laughs> Three and a half pounds. It's already pretty up there. 280 as it sits, and it doesn't have any heads, doesn't have any manifolds. All right, so block with a crank pulley on it, internals, about, about 280. Minus 20 pounds pallet weight. Oh, okay, yeah, minus 20 pounds pallet weight, so 260. So you can buy a block, like an assembled short block, short block. Okay. but it wouldn't come with a crank pulley, right? So let's subtract the weight of the crank pulley from that one. Use that as our as our block. Okay, so we're gonna edit the numbers a little bit. This this one had the crank pulley on there. Since normally, like if you were to buy a short block, it wouldn't come with the crank pulley. We're gonna subtract that weight from that number. So our number originally was 260. For that, you don't wait. Now. You can just do it on one. Um, 10 pounds. 10, okay. So 250. So 250 is the uh, the short block. All right. And so the second thing that we're gonna weigh is we're gonna subtract the flex plate weight um, because we want this to basically be how you would get a, like a crate motor. Long block. Shimmy it off. Yeah, let's see. Well, now I'm weak as shit, so if I can pick that up, 
It's not very heavy. I thought these motors were a lot heavier. I think I we're all, told you to look like I think we're already kind of finding out that you're right. <laughs> they are lighter than I thought. But I mean, the what internet the says four, like four, it says 420. Yeah. Oh my God. And that's no aluminum. Way. There's no way I can find 420 in full drift long. So you think that is not? I mean, that. So what we're saying is that with an alternator, with a pulley, with a flex plate on it, will not weigh 420. No. Maybe like. Or 362 or something. 362, okay. <laughs> All right, let's put this one on there. It's been a while since I had a hernia. Now that my back's blown the fuck out. What is it, 170 and 190? Yep, minus 20 pounds. Well, minus 10, because we're adding 10 for the for the thing. What are you putting on there? We know what it weighs. So what is it? 170 and 200. 170 and 200? Minus? 10, or no, minus 20. For the pellet. Okay. So 370, 350? 350 as it sits? What did you say it was? The 362 over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. That's crazy how even these numbers are coming out. Right? There's not like pounds on the end of those, they're like even 10 weights. <laughs> All right, so now we have to, well, we're not gonna hurt ourselves. We're gonna use the tray picker for this one. We'll put that one on there. So 250, 350, and then we're gonna see what this one is. How's it hit I guess. Uh, so this is how you would normally get it like from the junkyard where, I mean, I guess the junkyard's around here when we buy them. Comes with manifold, injectors, wiring harness, alternator, pulley, oil pan. Um, so this one doesn't have some of that, but we're gonna go, we have them over in the back. So we're just gonna put them on there so that it gets counted in the weight. But. This is, I think, when you look online, what the weight that you'd expect to see. So they're saying, internet says 420. That's what we're expecting that to be, but we just don't think it's going to be. Obviously there's some variations between like plastic intake manifold and you know different bolt-ons you do, different uh, exhaust manifolds and shit like that. But when you look up an LS, I mean, I guess, especially the truck motor shit, this is what you can expect it to weigh factor in your calculations. I mean, yeah, but are you moving around like a full head? Or are you just talking about the castings? The whole head? You got springs and shit in there too? Seriously. Well, the head takes the to rebuild. It has springs and things. Mm -hmm. I, I think you've just been working out a lot, I guess. Um, I mean, if the heads are so light, why don't you go ahead and get that back on the pallet by yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put that back on real quick. You thought the whole thing complete was gonna be the same weight as that. Yeah. It's not often I'm right. Tanya will attest to that. <laughs> Half expect her to come out the corner and be like, yup! Like, what, where the fuck did you come from? Sitting here waiting. Yeah, it rolled a little. So it allowed a straight line. I'm a little disappointed in your efforts to to uh, get him to put an auto in the silver in the in the Civic. I didn't know that was my responsibility. It was, man. <laughs> I thought we talked about this. It's sitting here waiting. Yeah. Oh, the auto messed up. Yeah. I'm telling you. I'm not gonna sell none of my parts. I'd be interested to see how. Yeah, but now you're gonna be focused on that damn thing. Without my fucking seat, because that thing just limits the hell out of mine. <laughs> yeah. I, I've learned that they have like some sort of comfort shifting bullshit program uh, in there. Yeah. It still gets down pretty right. good though. Your exact setup in that car. Yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. You're talking taking away what, like 1,500 pounds? More than that, dude. I think his car weighs 4,000 pounds. 4, like, yeah, at the track, he's 3,800 with me in it. Something like that. Yeah. 3, You're taking out 3,800 
Two thousand pounds. That weighs 20, eighteen with me in it. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I mean, you're talking, and his survives at like what five fifty or something like that, corrected? Yeah, or what did it make? Just five fifteen. Five fifteen corrected. So. I mean, that's probably more loss than this. It's not a two. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, motors doing work, but we know what a what a K series will make as far as power goes, but what the tranny can hold. Yeah. So in a thirty eight hundred pound vehicle, it's able to hold five fifteen. I wonder what it will be able to hold in that thing. That'd be nice. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Do you want to add it? That's, that's the way. Do you want to just toss it on top, or do you want to, you don't want to actually put it on, right? Yeah. Okay. Well then, yeah. Let's just get it on there. Keep going. I think it'll be fine if it leans forward. Scales like speaker or something. Fuck you! I got third one. Two, two ten. 210 minus 20, so 400. 400. Plus, plus, oh yeah, we got a flex plate. This certified genuine Chevy alternator. I'm gonna put that on this side. For well, my AC guys. <laughs> Street car guys right here, I'm gonna have AC. And white. Thanks, Edgar. Two thirty and two sixty. Yeah. So two thirty and two forty, basically. Four ninety minus twenty. Four seventy. Wow! All the the accessories are that much. Cause wait, well it was four hundred even. So it was four hundred even without the AC. Uh, the water pump, the wiring harness, the starter, flex plate. Okay, that is a lot of things actually. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so as it sits, that would be everything you put into the car. I mean, it's up to you whether you want to add in the AC compressor weight or not. Um, but yeah, essentially right around, what you said, 490 minus uh, 20? Yep. So 470. 470 pounds. Ready to drop in? Yeah. So internet was kind of wrong. It was. Because they said 420 with a clutch. We don't. We're not even including a converter. Yeah. If we drop a converter on there, that's another probably. I, I don't got know. A converter. 12 pounds. You got a converter? <laughs> <laughs> Slap it on there. <laughs> Apples to apples, I guess, with the with the internet, and that's what we're comparing this to is what the internet will say. Does it even have fluid in it? That is a monstrous fucking converter. <laughs> I was gonna say. Jesus Christ! Nah, that would probably be a bad idea. Okay, you're gonna do it anyway. Oh, all right. Two ninety. Is that seriously sitting, just balancing up there? Two seventy. Okay, so with con with. <laughs> I don't want to use that converter weight. That thing's fucking huge. Or, or, although, is that a stock size converter? I don't know. We always use like the nine inches and shit. That's so. a converter. Okay. All right. And what is that total? We got 290, 250. So you're looking at 140, 140, 520. 520 minus 20. So 500. 520. Oh. 520. 520 total. God damn. That's uh, yeah, it's a decent amount of weight. Minus the AC compressor for the guy who, at this point in the video, is bitching. No, we wouldn't be in there because nobody runs AC. I think that's more realistic. Like, a uh, motor's never going to come from the junkyard with a converter. All of this other stuff is very possible to show up, but it's never going to come with a converter. So I think this number is actually yeah, whatever I think that converter is. Converter goes with transmission weight. So what is it? What is it at this at this level? That was two sixty and two thirty. So four ninety. Four ninety minus twenty pounds for the pellet. Okay, so four seventy. All right. So I don't even know if that helps anybody uh, or is useful at all, but those are the actual weights I guess from a very practical motor that you would get. This is a Gen three uh, five three motor. Um, at least the, the complete one was. It varies a little bit on the other ones, but they're all aluminum block stuff, so it should be pretty much the same. Anyway, um, 
Sorry, no car shenanigans. Nobody's shit is here. Uh, and it's it was crappy weather this morning, so nobody brought it around. But um, we'll be doing more videos with the Civic coming up. I think week after next, we're gonna actually start tearing into it. So we'll start seeing more of that stuff. We're gonna try to figure out a motor for uh, the Civic here, hopefully soon. We, well, Bora bought a motor, but then they sent uh, an iron block instead of an aluminum. We're waiting to figure out what we're going to do with that. But yeah, anyway, subscribe, share, like, do all that stuff. We'll see you later.